Hello grade 12 and welcome to this revision lesson on linear number patterns. Now you may also know this as arithmetic sequences. Remember grade 12, this pattern is defined as a sequence which has a constant first difference. An arithmetic sequence is a sequence in which the difference between any two consecutive terms is constant. Now, if it does not have a constant first difference, then it is probably another type of pattern. We check that the first difference is the same with the formula. T2 minus T1 equals T3 minus T2 to check if a sequence is linear. If T2 minus T1 does not equal T3 minus T2, then we know that the sequence is not linear. Now, do you remember the formula we used to find the general term? The formula for the general term is Tn equals a plus, open brackets, n minus 1, close brackets, times d. Tn represents the general term. a represents the first term in the sequence. n represents the term number. d represents the constant difference. Now that we have triggered your memory, let us look at an example together. A farmer has a circular patch of land to cultivate. On Monday, he planted his crops by driving his tractor around in a circle with a radius of 10 meters. On Tuesday, we increased the circle he covered to have a radius of 15 meters. On Wednesday, the circle of land he plants had a radius of 20 meters. After 50 days of planting crops, he will have covered all of his land. Using this information, we need to determine the radius of the total piece of land and to calculate the area of the land. First, we generate the sequence. The radii of the circles is 10, 15, and 20. Now, the first difference between each term is 5. The first difference is constant. That means that this is a linear or arithmetic sequence. We use the formula for the general term of a linear pattern, Tn equals a plus in brackets n minus 1 closed brackets times d. Now we need to substitute the values we know in the formula. a is equal to the value of the first term, so that means it has a value of 10 n is the number of circles we're looking for, which is 50. And d is equal to 5. We substitute this in to get that. The 50th term is equal to 10 plus, open brackets, 50 minus 1, close brackets, times 5. And we find that term 50 is equal to 255. This means that the land the farmer is using to plant his crops has a radius of 255 meters. We can use this to calculate the area of the farm. The formula for this is A equals pi times radius squared. We substitute 255 for the radius. Now the total of the land is equal to 204,282 meters squared. Now, Let's move on to quadratic number patterns. <laughs> you may also know this as the second difference sequence. Remember, a quadratic number pattern is a sequence in which the difference between any two consecutive terms is not constant. However, the second difference is constant. Let's revise this by using an example. Here is the number pattern 8, 18, 30, and 44. How would you find the next two terms of this pattern? <laughs> Let's start by working out the first difference. The difference between 8 and 18 is 10. The difference between 18 and 30 is 12. It is clear that there isn't a first constant difference. Now, we need to calculate the second difference. If this is constant, it means that the number pattern is quadratic. The second difference is the difference between the first differences. As we can see, the second difference has a constant value of 2. 
Now, using the constant second difference of 2, we can determine the next first difference is 16, which makes the next term 60. The next first difference is 18, making the next term 78. Now, let us quickly revise how to find the general term of a quadratic sequence. We will use the same sequence. Remember that the nth term of a quadratic sequence is given by a n squared plus b n plus c. We have formulae we can use to calculate the values of a, b, and c. 2a is equal to the second constant difference. 3a plus b is equal to the first term of the first difference. And a plus b plus c is equal to the first term of the given sequence. Now we solve for the variables. First, we establish the equations. 2a equals 2, 3a plus b equals 10, and a plus b plus c equals 8. Solving for a is easy. It's equal to 1. Now, we substitute that into the next equation and find that b equals 7. Now, we substitute the values for a and b into the last equation and find that c is equal to 0. The last step to find the general term is to substitute the values into the formula. Therefore, the nth term is given by n squared plus 7n. You can also use simultaneous equations to find the general term of a quadratic sequence. Thank you for joining us, grade 12s. Be sure to try the task video at the end of this series. Now, you'll also be able to learn more about number patterns on our website, that is www.mindset.co.za forward slash learn. Goodbye.